you can do both. You can do both the simple interrupted and the simple continuous. So the initial steps will be the same. The initial steps will be the same, so there's not a problem. Now I'm demonstrating the next one. Simple running sutures. Okay, one group is still missing. Chris, Zara, Chisholm. <laughs> the initial step is the same. The first bite is the same. Get a good grip. Full thickness. Opposite side. Full thickness. Pull it out with a curving motion, as usual. First one, we will put the knot as usual, because we have to fix it. So, see, I'm doing a little bit like this. There is a reason for that. That sort of, you know, embeds the knot. Next, I'm tying it off. Okay, now what I'll do is, now follow me very closely. Unlike the previous time, what did we do? We cut this off, isn't it? Now we are not going to cut it. I'm just going to leave this behind. The long loop still remains in my hand. I'm going to catch hold of the needle back. And this is going to be my stay. I'm going to keep it out of the way. Again, catch hold of one end. Get a good grip. Opposite side, a good bite, pull it out with a curving motion, first one. Next, again, good grip, approximately half a centimeter away, another bite, come to the opposite side, another bite. Pull it out. You see how the sutures are coming now? They are coming parallel and slightly oblique. We will take a few more throws and then I am going to show you the last step. Continue. Get a good grip. Approximately half a centimeter away. Full thickness. Full thickness. Continue. This is the simple running or the simple continuous. Both mean the same. Continue half a centimeter. When you're taking the bite, like I said in a normal patient, there are no dots. What you do is you just give a gentle push with your needle and you see the bulge. Then you know exactly where your needle is coming out. That's how you align yourself. So, can you, can you see a small bulge? Then I know that's where my needle is coming. So, I have decided that this is where I want my needle to come out. In an actual situation also, you will see that. If the tip is very small, don't try to grab hold of the tip. Some of you will do it and you will break the tip. And the tip will go to the wound. And then for the next two hours, you will be searching for that small tip. It has happened. So, give a little extra push so that the tip comes out nicely. These are the small finer points. And then get a good grip and give it, pull it out with a curving motion. Many people try to pull it out straight. Then also the tip breaks. There. Once in a while, give it a little like this so that the ends are perfectly united. These are all the techniques to make sure that you get a good scar. Is there a reason for the going <coughs> It automatically becomes oblique because you're doing a running suture, isn't it? Next, I'll take two, or two more and then I'm going to stop it. Bite. Because the last part is important. You have to see how to finish it. The 
This is going to be my second last and then I'm going to stop it. One more. One more. And this is going to be my last. So this is how you should get. Now, watch the end. We have only one end. So the question is how will we loop it and how will we stop it? That is the crucial one. So let's say my suture, I've finished my suturing and I'm going to, this is my last one. So how do I finish it? So I'm taking my last stitch now. Full as usual. As usual. Okay, now what you do? Do not complete it. Keep a loop. Do not pull it full. Keep a loop. And this is going to be my knot. Usually, two loops. Catch hold of the apex. Next, again, same procedure. Catch hold of the apex. Catch hold of the apex. Same way. There you go. And we finish it off. This is the technique. So please do the simple continuous or simple running solution. There are different different situations when you